Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for the What Are We Watching podcast, the podcast where I watch horrible, usually, kids shows with my son Carlin. I think they stink, and he usually loves them. Hey Carlin, tell everybody what we're watching this week. We are watching Walk the Pranks Halloween episode, Prank or Treat. All right guys, it's time for Prank or Treat. Stay tuned. Colin turns on the TV, Christian flips off the screen Cause there's no good children's shows that he's seen We've got dogs with blogs, superheroes in the ER All dads are dumb and kids have better PR Colin just smile, Christian sits with the scowl He complains to his son, all the kids shall suck now They sit and discuss the show's plus and minuses Why you listen or watch on YouTube to the arguments Who is right, is it the son of the death? Either way, you get to laugh knowing Christian is mad. So pull up a chair, get the corn of popping. Here's a new episode of What Are We Watching? All right, everybody, thank you for joining us. How are you doing, Carlin? Good. It is Halloween week. We've already gotten some trick or treat going on last night, didn't we? Yeah. Why don't you tell everybody about where you went trick-or-treating last night? I went trick-or-treating at the Virginia Living Museum. Yeah, that was pretty cool. And they had creepy crawly animals everywhere and snakes and they had some cool stuff. We watched a laser show. Yes, that was very cool. It was very interesting. It was definitely like I could see like adults really digging that laser show and it was all old rock and roll music and uh, you know, the Iron Man song. I am Iron Man, you know, and then laser shows for that. And then Ollie was like, that doesn't look like Iron Man to me (laughs) because it was just an old robot guy. But that was pretty funny. And they had Devil Went Down to Georgia, which is always a classic. So that was pretty cool. And everybody got to dress up. Why don't you tell everybody what you dressed up as? The Green Arrow. Oh, we'll throw a picture up right on our magic green screen. (laughs) Yeah, it was pretty cool. He came up with that costume all on his own. And we had fun painting the um, arrow quiver together. It was it was pretty, pretty, pretty cool. I yes. Didn't, I didn't have a costume this year. I've just been too tired. He dressed up as himself. I dressed up as a dad of four kids. And I had bags under my eyes to show how tired it makes me. <laughs> so this week we are watching Walk the Prank. Now, if you are a familiar viewer of our podcast or listener, uh, you'll know that we have already done Walk the Prank before, right? And that was really yes. funny. And the reason we wanted to do it this week is because this episode is brought to you by Impractical Jokers and their Nitro Circus Spectacular. More on that later. But uh, we just wanted to watch another prank show, and it was a Halloween episode. We thought it'd be fun. And yeah. plus, we really liked the Herminator, Herman, <laughs> in the uh, other episode where he tried to flip over a table and show his muscles. I yeah. still watch that scene. It's classic. It's really <laughs> great. Now, when we had when we did the episode last time... I was saying, I know there's scripted parts of the show, and there are unscripted parts, which are the pranks. And we talked about it on the podcast, and I said, I'm not sure that this is really real, the pranks. I'm not sure. Sometimes prank shows fake pranks, especially that famous YouTube prank channel that everybody knows. Uh, So we said that in our podcast, and sure enough, one of the moms of the prankers... One of the actors on the show, or semi-actors on the show, she messaged me on YouTube and she said, I just want you to know, I'm the mom of one of the uh, pranksters on the show, and the pranks are 100% real. Yes, that's, that's awesome. It is awesome. Some of the s- stuff is scripted, obviously, but the pranks are all real, and sometimes they have to reshoot the pranks um, because it doesn't go right. Or they prank a lot of people. So when we get to talking about this, where they pranked one guy with the big spiders, they probably pranked two or three guys just to make sure it went right and everything kind of came out okay. So, Mm -hmm. um, But they'll just use one. So that's cool. And we really love that about our podcast. And that's so awesome how the internet works now, where you can make a podcast. And sometimes the actors have contacted us from other shows or this time the mom and said, look, that's my kid. And he is 100% on the up and up. Those pranks are real. So I thought that was pretty cool. And thanks for contacting us, Mom. All right. Now, this episode, what's the first prank that happens? They always open up with a prank. 
the first prank that happened is that um, Uncle Will was pretending to be an exterminator, and he uh, got another exterminator to help him go into the shed and exterminate any bugs that were in there. Yeah, there was a a spider problem. Yeah. There was going to be a spider problem. Now, I didn't know. Was that guy a real exterminator they brought with him or just a guy he hired to be an exterminator with him? I was kind of unsure about that. Was it kind of just a guy he he hired? I think he was an actually an An actual exterminator because he sure acted scared for an exterminator. (laughs) So what did they find when they went into this barn with Uncle Will, who is nobody's uncle, by the way? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um... They found spider webs all over the place. Okay, and then what was the first thing they saw wrapped up in a spider web? A bat. And they said, yo, there can be some creek spiders in here. This is the one thing that kind of bothered me about the show. Even though I love the show, it was the voiceover, like one of the kids explaining the prank as it was going along. I know they kind of have to do that, and it, it, um, it's done on other shows, like America's video, Funniest Videos, Ridiculousness, even though that's not always appropriate for kids. Um, yeah. You know, they kind of talk over the funny things that are happening. But a couple of the times, it seemed like a bit too much explaining, and I just wish they'd kind of let it play out. They're like, uh-oh, here's a bat falling out of a um, cobweb. Uh-oh, here's a rat falling out of a cobweb. Uh-oh, here's a... You know, just let it happen. <laughs> it didn't feel like I could feel be scared with the guy, but I get it. They kind of were like walking people along with what was going on. So what were some of the other things that fell out of the cobwebs? Uh, a cat. A cat, because the guy was like, the guy they were pranking was like, yo, I think that's a rat. And he's like, no, that's a cat, man. You know? Yo, it would be some John Emperor spiders in here. Yeah, and Uncle Will was making up names of fake spiders, like Emperor Spider, Creek Spider, you know, just making up crazy stuff. But they were like over explaining that on the voiceover. Anyway, whatever, it's fine. So finally, what do they find in the biggest web? The biggest, a huge spider. Well, but they find a human. Like yeah, a human oh, yeah. person covered in it, and his head kind of goes, and looks at the person and freaks him out. And then he turns around, and the gigantic spider, person in a spider costume, comes out. And he's like, ah! And they're spraying it with a little sprayer, which probably has water in it. And it scares the guy, and then, of course, he has to say... I walked the prank. I walked the prank. You got me. It's a prank show. All right, so um, that was the first one. They scared a guy with a giant spider. I thought that was kind of a silly one. Anytime they do stuff with, like... Um, gigantic creatures or like that alien creature that the was squid in the pool. one yeah in the pool I, those are always silly to me but people seem to get scared from them i don't know so then we go they jump into scripted part of the show and what was the first scripted part that they were talking about that they got in trouble mm-hmm. because they tied weather balloons to becky snyder's uh bike and she was floating on her bike Yes. And they said the National Guard was having to come to shoot her down. (laughs) Right? He said, I sure hope that was on the news. Yeah, I got to see that. So they were concerned that the National Guard, well, their parents were concerned that they had pranked Becky Snyder and the National Guard were going to have to shoot down the balloon. So they were all grounded for Halloween, right? Yeah. And uh, Bailey had an arm broken, but I guess they never even mentioned that. So I guess maybe it was broken in real life. What do you think? Her arm was in a sling, and they never talked about it. I think it was broken. I think it was broken. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe another mom will <laughs> message us and say whether her arm was really broken. So they were grounded, and one of the boys said, my mom was so upset with me, she threw our baby pictures in the garbage. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Herman's brother. <laughs> Herman's brother. Yeah, and I didn't realize that Herman and him were brothers. Yeah, Did I didn't know that. that? In the first episode? I didn't realize that either. So that was pretty cool. And... um then Hermanator came to school. I call him Hermanator because of that one episode. Herman came to school in that pirate costume because he was realized he wasn't going to get to go trick-or-treating, so he wanted to go ahead and use his costume. Yeah. And then he got his hook stuck in the locker. He's, and He's like, Bailey said, you know, Herman, you can just let go of it. And he looks at it and he's like, oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah, I can just <laughs> let go of the hook. I wouldn't be stuck. So then they go to class. Okay, so what was the next prank? The next prank is that they hired a guy named Louie to help them dig because they said there was a pipe problem in the ground. And what was the prank? That there was a treasure chest under there. Yeah. And there was a whole bunch of gold. He says, is this fake? And yeah. then there's a message, and mm-hmm. it's in Spanish, so Bailey reads it. Right. And it's cursed. It's cursed. Said, Whoever the takes the money. Okay, here's the thing that really cracked me up. 
was they were digging for this gold, or well, digging for the pipe. And once that guy Lou found that gold, he really thought it was real. Like he was like he said to Uncle Will, he was like because he was there to prank up too. He's like, dude, you're never gonna have to work as a gardener again. You're gonna be able to quit your job as a landscaper. This is awesome. And I was like. Dude, you found that money on somebody else's land. That's their money. <laughs> and you were like, they're rich. And I'm like, no, the people that own that house are rich. <laughs> like, let's say that did happen in real life. The prank is still on you, buddy. That is not your gold. <laughs> Just because the world doesn't work, finders, keepers, losers, weavers. That's how the world works. The world works as, oh, you found that on my land? Maybe I'll be nice enough to give you a hundred bucks. Thank you very much. <laughs> but he was so happy. He was like, I'm rich. I'm rich. And then once they saw the curse, the kids were like, no, it's cursed. Let's go. And he's like, I don't believe in curses until that they made it like a ladder fell. And then Uncle Will left. And all of a sudden he started believing in curses. Yep. So what was the other thing that happened scary on that one? That the zombies were coming out of the ground and scaring Louie. Right. That was pretty funny. They like, uh, I guess it was really just mulch around there because it should have taken them like, an hour to undo, to yeah. dig up that box. But there was just like mulch and they would flip open a, a casket and they would all come out like zombies. Ah, pirate zombies. Yeah. Because, you know, California or Toronto or wherever they filmed this is full of pirates. <laughs> Old pirates. Um, the, all the lights didn't uh, clue him in. But, of course, he had to say at the end. I walked the prank. I walked the prank. Which, at least in this time, makes sense because walk the plank with pirates makes sense. <laughs> Hey everybody, we will be right back, but this episode has been brought to you by Impractical Jokers Nitro Circus Spectacular. That's right, Impractical Jokers, which is a prank show for adults and sometimes kids. That's up to you parents to decide. They are having their Nitro Circus Spectacular. If you don't know what the Nitro Circus is, it's this crazy circus of guys with motorcycles and carts, and they're going to take the Impractical Jokers and put them on carts and drop them down stunt ramps. You want to see? Here's a clip. No, 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 no. guys, stop, 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 stop. All right, guys, if you thought that was fun, I've got even bigger news for you. You can win a $50 Visa card to host your own Impractical Jokers Nitro Circus Spectacular Party at your house, plus an Impractical Jokers t-shirt. You know what? You can actually use that $50 Visa card on anything you want. But hey, why not have some friends over and prank them while you're at it? All right, back to the episode. The next part is a scripted part. They're yes. back in school and they're all complaining about, you know, being um, in grounded into trouble. And what was the thing that Herman did that cracked us up um, in the cafeteria? Herman just started singing with the harmonica. Yeah. And he was like singing like, I'm so sad. Da, 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 you know, grounded for life. Ba, ba, da, da. But Can't what? go to the mall. Da, 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 da. Now the gym teacher walked by and he said, stop playing blues in the cafeteria, nerd. <laughs> and we just laughed. They, even the gym teacher looked at Herman and it was like, shut up, nerd. You know, like, <laughs> stop playing blues in the cafeteria. And it's funny that you get the little whitest kid in the world playing <laughs> old soul blues. Da, 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 da. Can't go to the mall. <laughs> yeah, it was funny. That kid cracks me up in every episode. But the thing that was funniest was the gym teacher just calling him a nerd. Like right out in front of everything. So that was kind of funny. Okay, the next the next prank. It's it's prank. It's good this one, prank. this one is just me. This one's me. So this one, I'll, I'll take this one. This one was the science fair. And it's the, very funny. Uh, Herman's brother, who I guess they're not really brothers. They're brothers in the scripted part. Yeah. Um, the, he had won a science trophy. And so they got one of the teacher's assistants to come in and just take the trophy and put it on the wall after he'd won it and all this kind of stuff. And, yeah. And what had they done to this trophy wall? And they had talked about how so special this is. So he said, here, place it right in the middle right there so everyone can see how special it is. Right. But what had they done to the wall? Uh, they had put like a two-sided mirror. Yeah, a two-way mirror behind it. And then they had prepped it to fall. Uh-huh. That as soon as any bit of weight went on there, it was just enough weight. And so when he put this beautiful glass uh, trophy on it, it all just fell and it shattered. <laughs> and then her brother started saying, no! 
<laughs> what did you do? What did you do? My dreams are smashed. My, yeah. Who was, are you again? <laughs> sorry. He was like, yeah, my dreams have been smashed. Who are you? And then uh, Uncle Will, who's playing a teacher, is, is talking about... Um, is asking the guy if he works for the rival school. Like, did you sneak over here from so-and-so elementary school? Like, are you here to... Oh, we didn't know we had a smasher here, folks. And it's all in the news. They've got news cameras. And he said, we're going to go over to that other elementary school and we're going to smash their trophy case. And the guy's like, no, 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 you don't have to do that. You don't have to... Like, he was really, like, concerned. Like, oh, no, I've started a whole incident, a rivalry between... He yeah. was so sad. Like, this guy was so embarrassed that he had crushed this trophy. I mean, you felt bad for him. Yes. I, was like, I legit felt bad for this guy. That was <laughs> the worst. Like, you could see just pure fear and being sorry and embarrassed and all that. And he's looking at, like, a fake camera crew for TV that was or for news crew. I, I just felt bad for that guy. I, and then when they told him it was a prank... <laughs> You just saw like his shoulders raise up because it was just getting lower and lower. He was just so relieved. Like I'm surprised he didn't just cry and be like, "Thank God, thank you, God, thank you, Jesus." That wasn't real because he was upset. <laughs> oh yeah. It's one thing when you see the guys get scared, but it's another thing when you. Okay, so before we jump to the last bit of the scripted show, let's just go and to the other prank. Okay. Um, because we've got some stuff to talk about with the rest of the scripted thing. So the last prank, they were at an Italian oh my restaurant. Gosh. And what did they have an actor do? Fill in as... Uh, meaty the Meatball. Well, meaty the Meatball. So they had... <laughs> now, you watch the episode, right? All you have to do is listen to our mini episodes every other Wednesday. Oh my gosh. We, we tell you what we're going to watch. That way you know what we're talking about. It's great. But feel free to pause this and then go watch the episode. We always link it below. So he plays Meaty the Meatball... <laughs> And they have him on a pulley system, and he comes from behind a curtain, and he goes, I'm Meaty the Meatball. Uh, and he brings food. And where are you from, Meaty the Meatball? I am from... Uh, Meatville, or whatever it is. Meatsylvania. Meatsylvania. And what were his, fam- his family name? Oh, i <laughs> My wife was Mary the Meatball. My son was Morty the Meatball. So they yeah. had, like, this whole story. And what did um, the boy do that, like, brought him in? Um... He had this little, like, control Control system for the pulley system. But what did he do? Did he go slow? No. No, no, he purposely went fast. Well, like, the first time, he didn't go as fast. Right. So he had carried bread, and he actually managed to stop it from spilling the bread. And they're like, oh, crap, this prank's not going to work. And they're like, well, we'll just go faster, and we'll do salads this time. And then he cracked a guy in the head. (laughs) They fly, maybe the meatball. I am in the meatball. Wee. Wee. And then, boom, (laughs) cracked a guy right in the head, a waiter. (laughs) Now, all these people are actors. The only person not an actor is the guy in the meatball suit. Everybody else is in on it. And then he said, I mean a meatball, bye-bye. Oh, have a meaty day. <laughs> yeah. Doesn't he have to say, have a meaty day? Yes. So he cracked a guy in the head, and he was just like, have a meaty day. <laughs> and he just had to go. And, uh, and uh, then he did spaghetti and meatballs, and he actually managed to keep the meatballs from falling oh, out. But he still bumped somebody oh, in Oh, he still bumped somebody in that. <laughs> but he have didn't. Have a meaty day. Have a meaty day. But then they gave him like eight plates. And he was, like, really upset now. Like, you could tell he was really upset because he told the kid, he's like, behind the curtains, he was like, go slow this time. And the kid was like, no, I'm not going to. He's like, no, seriously, go slow this time. And he's like, no, nah, I'm going to go fast. And then and he just, just like, did it. <laughs> and he went, no, no. Don't. And then meatballs are flying everywhere. And they're hitting people. And he's just like, have a meaty day. Like, he's trying to do his best. <laughs> I almost felt as bad for him as the guy for the trophy, but the trophy was worse. Because he knew he was on camera in a way because of the news cameras. Yeah. So when they finally told him he was on a prank show, he was like, oh, thank gosh. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> I walked the prank. Okay, yeah. so let's let's jump into the last. Um, yeah, he was so relieved. What was the last part of the scripted show? They, they had said... And Bailey, you sh- we we had a discussion. We usually well, don't talk. What was funny first though is that Uncle Will had four computers out. He had four <laughs> computers out instead of one computer with four screens to Skype with everybody. And then Herman kept going on. And he just shut Herman down. Like, <laughs> just closed it. Be quiet, Herman. 
Okay. So they said, Bailey, you should apologize to Becky. And she goes, no, it's the principal. I don't want to, I never want to apologize for a prank. And then you went, oh, she's the principal. And I went, no, no, no. This means the principal of the matter. And then we went into a whole discussion about explaining the principle of the matter, like principles. And I sh- it's just a prank. The principle of the matter is that you don't have to apologize. So yeah. we had a whole discussion. We hit pause and like learned some words, learned what principles are and that kind of thing. Use that word in the context. Now they show up to school. The boys are standing in front and the principal of the school comes out. And how does she treat them? He says, boys, you need to get to class before the bell rings, you know. Yeah, and was very firm. And then Bailey pops out from behind. And she says, hi, Becky. She's like, and then I was like, oh, crap, it was the principal. But they also meant, they, they tried to trick you and make you think it was the principal of the matter, which it worked on me because I'm an adult and knew what the words meant. <laughs> it didn't work on you. <laughs> Yeah, but technically it worked on me because I was smarter. <laughs> well, I was smart enough to know that I was the principal. Know the definition. No, you luckily guessed. <laughs> that was like, that's what we call in the business a dumb guess. <laughs> no, it wasn't that I was smarter. It's just that you were ignorant to the, what the word meant. You know, that's fine. It's I'm just joking, of course. So, But it ended up being the principal. And Bailey has like some control over this principal. It's like... Hi, Becky. Hi, Becky. And and then the principal, like, just changes. She was firm with the boys, and then she's like, oh, 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 hi, Bailey. How, how, how are you today? How are you? And then Becky, or Bailey, is, like, saying how she had to apologize. My mom says, I have to apologize to you, so sorry. Sorry, I guess. And she, then the principal, it, it, it's okay, Bailey. I, it was fine. It was fine. I mean, it, it's it's, it's cool. not like I told your mom or anything. Yeah. I, oh, yeah, Bailey. I didn't rat you out. I didn't tell your mom. And they're like, yeah, I think that was the National Guard on the news. <laughs> That's how they knew. And then she's walking away, and Becky, the principal, the adult, is like, oh, ba- Bailey, y- y- your hair looks great today. And she's like, whatever, Becky. And I was like, what the what? <laughs> it's just, just crazy. So by knowing what principle is, I got tricked. <laughs> you didn't get tricked, <laughs> accidentally. And uh, it was just funny. It's funny yeah. that Bailey is like queen of the school. And they said earlier that she's always pranking Becky. Yeah. So I don't know. That's really funny to me that the principal, I couldn't tell if the principal was scared of Becky or Bailey. I keep mixing up Becky I think and she was scared. She acted like she wants her to be her best friend. And is a little scared of her. Yeah. Like, Bailey's one of the mean girls at school, and she just wants to be in the club. Becky does. <laughs> it was the craziest thing. And it's so weird that, like, it's a prank show that has scripted stuff. But as funny as some of the pranks were, the scripted thing that made I kept thinking about all weekend was the thing with Bailey and Becky. Like, it just cracked me up each time. It was, it was very well acted by the principal. All right, so we usually rate the show 1 to 10. Um, and we also discuss... Or what are we watching board? Were there parents around? Uh, things about the scripted show. But this isn't necessarily a full scripted show. We talk about were there parents or are the kids just on their own? Are the adults idiots? Uh, we don't really talk about that one with this show because um, it's different, right? Yeah. <laughs> There's not that much scripted. There's less than half scripted. Yeah. They just use it as like in between parts. But I would say the adults are idiots in the scripted parts. <laughs> the principal that wants to be friends with Bailey and Uncle Will is just crazy. Yeah. Um, so anyway, uh, one to ten, ten being the best, one being the worst. How do you rate Walk the Prank? Um, I would rate it a fifteen. A fifteen. Ten being the best, you gave it a fifteen. Yes. Oh, uh, you broke the rating system. I'm gonna give it a solid eight. That's good. That's good. That's good for what I give it. I, I probably would give it a nine. No, I, screw, I'm giving it a nine. Oh, yeah. I'm giving this a nine. I love it. I love the Becky thing. They tricked me. They got me with the principal deal. And um, I like the show. I like the show. What can I say? I love Walk the Brick. There you go. I love one of these shows. I would watch it anytime it's on with you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. Well, thank you for watching this episode. And don't forget, watch Impractical Jokers tomorrow night. Nitro Circus Spectacular. Look, 
Not all of it is 100% great for kids all the time, but this is going to be a lot of stuff. I imagine there's going to be a lot of families in the uh, convention hall, wherever they have this, the stadium. So it's probably going to be safe to watch. But hey, DVR it, right? Watch it on Friday with your kids after you've made sure it's cool. There's nothing wrong with the parent watching the show, making sure everything's cool with the kids. And if it's 90% good, just, just fast forward through that 10%. It's fine. You're allowed to do that, parents. Tell your kids to shut their eyes, fast forward it, boom, miss a couple off-color jokes, watch that with your kids. All right, anything you want to say to the audience, Carlin? Thank you for watching. All right, thank you for listening and watching because yes. we have a ton of listeners on iTunes. If you want to listen to us on iTunes and only know us on YouTube, go to whatarewewatching.com slash iTunes. It'll take you straight to our iTunes page. We're on Libsyn. We're on YouTube. Leave a comment in the comment section and you could win that $50 gift card from Impractical Jokers. Thanks for watching, everybody, and we will come at you live with a new mini episode let you know what we're watching next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. This production is brought to you by the Plaid Dad Blog Podcast Network. For more information, visit us at plaiddadblog.com.